York County Library and Miss Rhonda and Campbell. <laughs> All right, Campbell. What is one of your favorite sandwiches that you like to to eat when you um, are going to school or going on a picnic? Well, my favorite is an uncrustable. You like uncrustables? Yeah, with a grape jelly with grape jelly and soft bread and soft bread well would you like to know how to make an uncrustable from scratch sure all right sweetheart all we're gonna need is white soft. bread any that's soft. soft bread we're gonna need peanut butter peanut butter yeah. and um grape jelly grape jelly so, I'm going to give you two slices of bread, mm. and I'm just going to use two slices of bread. And, because I love my Campbell and I love his fingers, we're going to use what to spread our peanut butter? Um, a craft stick. A craft stick. So, what you want to do is make sure you get the peanut butter right in the center. Okay. And don't put too much. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'll do it with you. I'm going to get a little bit on mine. Bit on mine. A little bit on yours, and let's put it right in the center. Center, center, center. Make a little circle. Good job, buddy. Thanks. I accidentally put some over here. That doesn't matter. It's but, gonna be an uncrustable. We won't even know, will we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, honey. You want to put some jelly on yours? Um, sure. All right. Just take a little dollop of jelly and put it right in the center. <laughs> Whoa, this is jiggly. <laughs> Get on there. Perfect. All right, can I move have a little bit? Sure. Or I'm not, I'm Miss Rhonda, aren't I? Yeah, not Miss Rhonda. But you call me Amu, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. All righty. We've got it there. You ready to make an Uncrustable? Yeah. Put this slice on top of this slice. Um, so I know which way to do it, but can I do either both? You can, absolutely. Because this is your sandwich and this is your picnic on a stick. All right. Now, you want to press it down a little bit, okay, sweetheart? Okay. Press it down, and then we're going to take this nice round cookie cutter, and we're going to put it right there, and then you got to push it down real hard. Okay, and just be careful, these are not toys. That's exactly right. <laughs> but this one is made out of plastic, so. Same. But you're right, sweet pea. It's a kitchen tool, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, press down real hard. And then, can you give it a twist, kind of like this? Oh, um, sure. Okay. There you go, perfect. And even, I have one question okay. for our picking in the kitchen with Miss Rhonda and Cam. Yes. Have, do you love Taylor Swift? Oh. <laughs> just, just do you, do you? I am very fond of Taylor Swift. I am, Campbell. The Taylor Swift. Alright, <laughs> that's good. Do you think Taylor Swift reads books? Um, I think so. She should, shouldn't she? Mm -hmm. Here, let's, okay, we gotta get all that crust off. Now, that is a kitchen tool. That's really called a ravioli cutter. I did not know that. Well, Hamo didn't know, or Miss Rhonda didn't know, if you want to make it, you can do it two ways. You can go around your Uncrustable and seal it with a fork. Just like what Uncrustables do. That's right. Or you can take this ravioli cutter and you can make a design. You can do it either way you want. You see the difference? You yeah. Got that for that. Well, I just like the way, just the way it is. You like it just the way it is? Yeah. All right, then. Have we finished our Uncrustable? Yeah, but you still have to do yours. Oh, you want me to do mine? Yeah. All right, let me get that on there. I just remembered what? that you really did do that. 
All right, I've got mine done. I think I'm gonna use the fork, is that all right? Yeah. Now, once we've got them all sealed, we don't want any of our good peanut butter and jelly to squirt out for our picnic, so let's put it in a bag, what do you say? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, we're done with our sandwich. You ready to move on to our s'more pops? Sure. All and right. even, we've got some marshmallows right here. That's right. We're going to move on to some more pops, and we're going to clean up this mess and come right back in a minute. Bye. All right, Kimball, you ready to make those s'more pops? Yeah, and this is what they're gonna look like when they're done. Don't they look yummy? Yeah, and this, and when we put it in a bag, it'll be ready to eat. It'll be ready for us to put in our picnic lunch. The ingredients we need are crushed graham crackers. Taste them, are they good? Yep. Pretty good, huh? What are these? Marshmallows. And we want the big ones, don't we? Mm -hmm. And then Amu, or Miss Rhonda, has heated up a little bit of chocolate. This is very warm, so you need to keep your fingers out because we don't want you to get hurt, okay? Okay. All right, working quickly so our chocolate does not get cold. We're going to put a marshmallow on a stick. Okay. You see? Right here. Take a stick and get a marshmallow. What I like to do is this. I just like to find a marshmallow and then just stick it. All right, are you sure it's stuck on there good? Good um, job. I make sure the stick doesn't go to the top. Stick. All yeah. right, sweetheart, you're going to take that marshmallow and you're going to dip him down into this chocolate. Okay. You ready? I'm going to hold it for you so it doesn't tip over. Okay. Dip it down in there. Dip, dip, dip. You got dip. chocolate? I like to get it all over. All right, that's fine, honey. The more uh, chocolate, the better. Now make sure it's stuck on there. Okay. All right, now roll him in your graham cracker cones. Good job. Wow. Very good. Let me get some on mine. And then we need that chocolate and graham cracker to cool down before we can package it. So bring it over here and we're gonna stick it right there so it can cool down. And that's all it is to make our some more pops. You know what? What? We're ready to pack our lunch. And I think something else we need to do is talk about a good book to read when we go on our picnic. What do you think? Sure. All right. It's a book that's called The Perfect Picnic and it's written by Sierra Flood. This is a hilarious tale of two very different friends and their picnic that just doesn't turn out quite right. What do you think about this one? Pretty good. Oh, this this rat looks pretty grumpy. Oh, he does. Do you know what the title of this is? Good News, Bad News. Good News, Bad News, written by Jeff Mack. And by using only four words throughout the entire story, rabbit and mouse head out on a picnic. That's good news, but then bad news, it starts to rain. Oh, but that's good news, because rabbit has an umbrella. But then, you know it. There's bad news. You'll just have to read this to find out how it ends with good news or bad news. What do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, and the last one, what is this called? Picnic. Picnic. I thought it was a pretty picnic. funny. <laughs> it's a funny play on words. And this was written by Matt Fallon. And it's a cute play on words instead of picnic. It's picnic. An adorable pig family goes on a picnic and they get into all types of trouble. All right, Campbell, it's time to pack up this picnic on a stick. You ready? Yep. All we need is a stick that we found outside and a red bandana or whatever color you find. We're gonna put in one Uncrustable. Oh, uh, before we do that, we should probably add a napkin, shouldn't we? Mm-hmm. Let's put in a napkin and just in case we get our hands dirty, we should probably put in a little wet wipe, shouldn't we? Yeah, if you get messy with the chocolate. <laughs> okay, and then Miss Rhonda Amu has packed us a few potato chips. Do you wanna put that in our lunch? Sure. And then we have our, what is this? Kurt Pop. It's our s'more on a stick. Now, it may buy s'mores. <laughs> we're gonna tie up two ends like this, just like that. Then we're gonna take our stick and add it to it. And then we're gonna tie up these two ends. 
around here. And then we're gonna take the first two ends we did the first time and give them one more. And it's good and sturdy. And we've got a picnic. What is it, Campbell? On a stick. On a stick. And now we're ready to go camping. We are ready to go and we're gonna read some good books. So you ready to tell everybody we hope they enjoyed our video? I hope you enjoyed the video and also I got a gun. <laughs> Thanks for joining us everybody. Make sure you come by the library. We hope you've had a wonderful summer and don't forget the library is open for you right now and you can come in and check out your own books. Love Campbell! <laughs> we love you. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.